You're listening to the old oil house lock-in with your hosts, Gruffline. Crashing through the sky comes the feline cry. Space car! Dark Ages. What's this? Is it chocolate? Little Billy, it's chocolate. You eat up, little Billy. And Chaos MV. <laughs> Always tell your mommy before you go off murdering people. <laughs> We Hello, good morning, good evening, good night, dear listener. You have once again kicked open the back door of justice and oh. walked in with a smile on your heart and a song in your face. <laughs> okay, if you say so. As usual, I am your host, Griff Locker, and with me today are two men. Two manly men made by men for men with men. One is Bionic, the other is... Something else beginning with bi that I can't think of. God damn it. Oh, no, not that. Bilingual. No, no, no. One is bilingual. The other is bilingual. Mmm. She has back to the tick again. Have you ever seen bipolar bear? No. Oh, man, that made me laugh. I'll save the world. Maybe tomorrow. So, with me today. First up, to my left. Is, is, is the window. Don't spoil the illusion. Illusion spoiled. Suck it, bitches. How dare you said the illusion spoiler? Nah, probably said it shouldn't name that. It's me, Stuart Dark Ages. How's it going, yo? Yo, yo, yo. How's it going in the hood? In the hood, yo. In the hood, yo, yo. Ah, oh, because my wife, I've got the plumbing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Every day she's on my back about the plumbing. My name's Father Opossum. Shut <laughs> up. We ain't got no priest around here unless you come to fix the plumbing. My name's Father Opossum. I'm here to fix your refrigerator. Ah, uh, next to him is... Chaos Envy. A.K.A. They got in heaven. Ah, oh, okay then. Fair news. Oh, Hello there. Sorry. That, that. You just knocked out my beard. <laughs> oh my lord. You knocked out my beard killer. Knock the highlights out of her hair! You son of a bitch. I always knew that beard was fake. It wasn't fake, that's just how badly he got me with a data stick. Not rhyming slam. Totally was. We saw everything. How sorry is USB port? And with the introductions over, Wagon, I have three questions to ask you. Well then, then. First question one. What have you got this week that you did not have last week? Nope. And what did you see this week, or do this week, that you did not do last week? Because if you did them last week, you'd be able to tell us about last week. Hang on, are we, are we answering all at one go? Are we answering yes, yes we are. I just I, got, your... I, I haven't answered then. I got a uh, cuphead. <gasps> did... Cup heads, cup heads, roly poly cup heads, cup heads, cup heads. I'll eat your eyes now. Oh, I'm on a hell of a lot darker than I thought it was going to go. Um, I got cup heads. Uh, obviously, the idea wants to go with my cup. Mm -hmm. He looks all super awesome. He does. I I think that's an amazing job that I did. Yes, and it's not often you'll hear us say that about I gave. No. Um, then again, I do believe I gave got Jekyll and Hyde. Some days they make cupheads. Other days they knock off masterpiece seekers and shit in your fridge. Yep. Hey, we made a faith leader. It's not a knockoff masterpiece. Prime honest. Um. All it takes is drinking this potion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that also led me, uh, with the assistance of Mr. Gruff, Hi there. to put in a pre-order for the iGear weapons case. Indeed, indeed. Uh, for those people who have doubts of it, if you have your iGear cup heads, go to your copy of Last Stand of the Wreckers, which you must all have owned by now. Uh, flick to the page where Cup is shooting two guns and shouting a lot with guzzle. Mmm, yes. <laughs> all we need now is a guzzle. A proper guzzle. Yeah, none of this Cyberverse one, because he was... Two movie for my liking. Yeah. yeah. There we go. I didn't say anything too terrible. No. Um, absolutely right. The, the aesthetic of it just doesn't work for me. Nah. Which is a bit of a shame. 
What else did I get? Oh, I got a, I finally got some more Prime RID stuff at our local branch of Argos. Yes. So I got a cliff jumper. Hey! He's alright. Hey, not bad at all. Not bad at all. The only thing I don't like about him is the hollow arms. Hmm. Then again, I've never been a fan of hollow arms. But on the other hand, it is a different type of transformation. Hmm. It's not an obvious one. No, no, I'm quite happy with that. I like different types of transformations. Mm, so I'm trying something different. Um, mm, don't very much what was I going to say? I, I think he suffers very much from, but what is the first edition like? Mm-hmm. I think if he'd just come as is, I'd be all right with him. Yeah, yeah. But my brain's still sitting there lingering a bit, going, oh, what's the first edition like? Yeah. Have you just seen any videos of it or anything? Nah, been, not been avoiding it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> videos don't do them justice some days. True enough, true enough. But, uh, yeah, no, he's pretty cool. He rolls pretty well. Mm-hmm. His weapon's a bit mad. Uh, and I'm disappointed by the fact that we, they've gone back a step by not having, <coughs> excuse me, mech tech parts for the weapon holds. Yeah. That is a step backwards, in my opinion. I would agree with that. It's a bit of a bugger. But no, it's all right. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and get another one so I can make a zombie. Good man. Good man. And then, so you've donated a couple of things to me, but I'm going to... Mm-hmm. Well, that's all you go off on your one about them. Fair. But before, um, before I talk... And that's about it, I think. Okay. Oh, no, um, no, no, yeah, no, I said that last time. Uh, Have you watched Amazing Screw One Head yet? Oh, you know what, I didn't. Come on, me. <sighs> no. All right. It's cold and there's wolves out there. <laughs> it's cold outside. There's no kind of atmosphere and I'm alone. More or less. Goldfish shows singing the wrong bits. Yep. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> In, In the, the drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Because we don't get some out here. We did For today. Shizzle, shizzle, drizzle. Yeah, we, we, did, we did today. We got two minutes of sunshine. Yeah, there you go. But is that why everyone was running indoors screaming, The gods are angry! Yes, pretty right. much. That's how we got half of our uh, custom today. <laughs> the fiery orb is back. Ah, Sauron lives! <laughs> That's how half of my staff made it into work on time for once. <laughs> Ooh. Boom. So, Mr. Rob. Yes. What have you done, bought, seen, read, played with, looked at, sniffed, eaten in the last week? Whoa, that's... Wow. Um, you may answer these as you wish. Possibly okay. with lies. <laughs> Dirty, filthy lies. Pea and ham soup. You, you bought some pea and ham soup? No, I ate some. What was the articulation like? <laughs> the articulation's good. The articulation. You I, were... I had a little bit of hiccup halfway through that. I do apologise. I did I did watch um, something on Netflix, which I kind of wish I hadn't. Yes, well, that's what happens when you find a rustic doji. <laughs> Tentacles! Tentacles. No. no, you know the story of that, but I'm not going into it. <laughs> I also have a Netflix story, but I'll wait until Rob finishes, because I've um, just remembered mine. I, okay. I actually went and uh, watched um, Robot Jocks. Yeah, man! Um, I remember, as a kid, desperately wanted R- to see Rumba, that. Rumba, right? You are currently being recorded for the hundreds and hundreds of... Ten. ...ears. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> That belong to the 50 people that download us. Um, <laughs> and one of those people, do not forget, is Andy, <laughs> Cobra Commander at TFW. And you're about to start dissing a film with Jeffrey Combs in it. <gasps> oh I God, just want no. you to be warned. Right? Don't do it, man. Just, it's not worth it. Because the, Think of me. I, Andy is like Jimmy Smith's. Only you don't have to say his name. <laughs> He'll you. just turn up and gut you with a fish hook. That, that, that weekend at Auto Assembly, I was terrified he was going to go me with a fish on. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, um, with that with that in mind... <laughs> that warning. With that warning in mind, um, I it think I'd shit. better change what <laughs> I was going to say. Because what I was going to say was, it was quite bad. Mm. But I think I'm going to have to say... It was quite bad, but Jeffrey Coombs was awesome. It was, it it was, was a fucking shit. It was horrendous <laughs> to watch. It hurt. Oh, man. I, yeah, I'm so you. glad I never ever watched that as a child because I wouldn't like big robots. What, what about the sequels? Are you going to watch the sequels next? Good God, no. Well, it was nice knowing you, Rob. Now Andy's going to show up and go you with a fish hook. He is. <laughs> the, the last thing you'll hear is just the sound of. I'll set an Eve on him. And the last words I'll hear is. My hands are cold. <laughs> as he just rides Glenn in. <laughs> but my shirt's warm. No, it, it, that was 
I had such high hopes for that film. I, th- I think I built it up, you mm. know, because obviously wanting to see it as a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, never seeing it and only remembering uh, a hazy recollection of a trailer, which, mm-hmm. you know, just didn't live up to the movie. Um, I although, I did watch um, Fantastic Four, the um, if you... 90s cartoon. Oh, right, okay. Um, I'm going to get angry at you there. When, when was, was that before or after the Spider-Man? After. That was after. Because it was the Marvel Action Hour. Yeah. Oh, it was horrendous animation. Oh, yeah, it, it's bloody it's awful. It's terrible. I don't understand how Spider-Man could have had such good animation. Is this the first or the second series? Um, it was the first series because I watched like the first five episodes. Because uh, it's like it's like the Iron Man stuff. It's terrible, and then it hits second season. They just go, oh, hello. Uh, when did that get good? So I watched I watched that, and then I started watching uh, the X Men. Mm-hmm. Um See, doesn't it work? <laughs> it does. I was actually singing it to uh, Neve last night whilst we were watching it. She just looked very confused. Storm. But no, I didn't. I didn't really quite realise, but the, there is no kind of episode of the week. No sort of thing with um, with X Men is that it, it every episode carried on from a different episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's just like it wasn't serialised as such. Not like Pirates of Dark Water, where every episode fit starts where the last one ended. Yeah. But there is a massive continuity that runs yeah, right through that it's series. It's like, yeah, okay, this episode we're going to meet, um, you know, it's going to be Wolverine versus, um, uh, versus Sabretooth yeah. uh, in Canada. You know, that that would usually be your episode of the week. Mm-hmm. But there was a reason for him being there from the previous episode. Yep, and, yep. you know, something from that episode carried on into the next. And, you know, it's just like, wow! X-Men was way ahead of its time. It, I love no, it, it's it's weird. Ekman and Batman are like two different sides of a coin here to kind mm. of fucking cliche. Mm. They both do exactly the same thing, but do it differently. Mm. They both trade trays, uh, blaze their own trail, but they both do it in completely different ways. And I think those two series changed a lot of what cartoons could and could not do. It's just a shame that all that's now been ignored in the vain hope of making so much crap. It is quite Sorry. upsetting. <clears throat> We had, um, pretty much that's all I've done is work, um, and watch Netflix and play Catherine. Catherine is a fucking good game. I'm glad you said it was a game because it just sounds like you're playing a young lady called Catherine. Well, I, I did actually uh, tweet yeah. about uh, Catherine and then when I looked back at my tweet and kind of went, that ah, looks a little wrong. Uh, that's what uh, he calls every hooker that he captures under the patio. <laughs> Come on, Catherine. By, by captures, I mean Barry. No, it's, the, the actual storyline of it starts off, as I was saying before, starts off as a soap opera mm. and ends up outer limits. From the it, deepest inner mind. Yeah, it's bonkers. To Catherine. The, the puzzles are really quite good. I, I will not try it on hard. So I will just get stressed and break my telly. But, oh, no. You know, it's quite good fun. Hmm. Very you tell you it's good fun. No, the actual <laughs> game itself right. is good fun. I highly recommend it. And it is not anywhere near as bad as people think it is. Or, you know. Well, no, obviously not, or else I would have uh, made more of the hard joke that you made before. No. You found it hard. No. 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 But, see, I must be maturing. I let that one pass. You're not maturing. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Look look at Spit-Off. Speaking of which. rest my case. Speaking of which, I have a Spit-Off. Well, I'm going to briefly tell my Netflix story Mm. since he finished. I started watching Abadar, The Last Airbender. Ah! Abadar! Abadar! Good man! Abadar! How do you feel about Abadar, The Last Airbender? I'm, I'm enjoying it. Well, for, for who are you on Abadar, uh, The Last Airbender? He's <laughs> been to the Fire Nation to see The Last Avatar. Mm hmm. Uh, now he knows about the comet and stuff, and now he's going to go around the water bin. Marvellous. Have you, uh, have you decided who your favourite character is yet? Uh, it's probably the, the uncle. He's kind of cool. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm with you on that. He's so relaxed. It, it was gonna. It was gonna be one of two people. It was gonna. It was gonna be Uncle Iro, or it was gonna be Soccer. Mm, he's all right. That's the one I've just watched. Is when they meet the bandits who are attacking the Fire Nation people. But one of them's all freaking mental job. Oh, Jet. Mm. He's like gonna kill them all. Wait till you get to the um, the <laughs> one where they're travelling through the Earth Kingdom to get him an Earth Pin. <laughs> That's genius, that. I did love the one where he met his old friend from 100 years ago. 
Yeah, that's a really nice episode. Oh, <laughs> is, it, is it the one before that one, the one with the uh, the travelling minstrels? That are like hippies. Mm, or is that, no. is that actually later on? Don't spoil it for me. Adam, tell us what you got. I'm trying to avoid spoilers in every way, shape, and form. Yeah, alright. <clears throat> um, thanks to Mr. Stewart. Hey, that's me. As part of a deal to get his pre order for the weapons pack in. <gasps> uh-huh. Don't tell them the secrets of the deal. I didn't tell them the full secrets. I didn't tell them about the full moon and the knife. <laughs> And how they be tentacled monstrosities will walk the earth once more. Praise be Cthulhu. <laughs> Most tentacly the face of all creatures. You are under bold and lonely, like Cthulhu. <laughs> yeah, I met that Cthulhu fair once. He wanted me to shift 20 crates, 20 crates of tuna. And I said, screw you, man. I finish in two minutes. I, I, I want you to think of this scene instead. The exact same scene as the one I've just done from Futurama. But it's not Zoidberg. You feel old and lonely, like Goldberg! <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't mean to take the piss out of Bill Goldberg. I do. <laughs> I don't, because he's said it's a very nice man. Goldberg! He, he, Goldberg! He does a lot of money. No, does my money. does lots of things for charity now. Oh, well, that's good. He doesn't seem to be the complete cock that he once was. Does his wife complain about the plumbing? <laughs> Complains about his plumbing. Uh, he got a better life than me then, and I ain't even got a face. No <laughs> legs. I got a set of tricks and a blue torch and a bush. Uh, I'm going to cut that plumbing then I got a welded pick. So, Spitto. In a room above the garage. I love, I love Transmetal Spitto. You're welcome. Because he's just so ridiculously coloured. He's bright and colourful. All of his little heads sticking out. And now you come around the place going, Red Leisure. Because it's the same mould. And also, he fits pretty much every single one of my three criteria for an awesome. Yeah, go on. I'll for, a, for an awesome uh, figure. One, he can walk. Two, he can turn into crack addict in an alleyway pose. <laughs> and three, although you wouldn't really want to use it. Yes, he got a commode mode. <laughs> you wouldn't want to use it, but that's the shitter right there. So, oh, by the way, uh, um, visual jokes in an audio medium. Yeah, my god. The other thing I've got is androids. I've got fucking shitloads of them. And I have two of them. I gave you two because they were spare and bubbles that I had that you may have because you seem to really like the bus or hand one. <laughs> It's just because I've projected this life on him. What is it? It's because he's got a hard hat <laughs> and a welded mask for a face. And now I believe he lives in a room above the garage because <laughs> his wife left him because she ran off with a plumber because I wouldn't fix their pipe. I told her to stick their pipe up her ass and she left me for the plumber. Ah, oh, he's my brother too. <laughs> oh, I hate them both. Ah, oh, my life sucks. I'm going to go to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, little work, I'd right. No, your life will get better soon. That's yeah, really... I bloody well hope so. I'm sick of this bar. You drink some water down and you're too expensive. And your farmer hits me with a lead pipe. <laughs> oh, I think you're getting more and more Irish as you go along there. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to go back to my room above the garage. I'm going to move back in with my parents. You can't afford nothing. <laughs> Will Father Opossum come to see you then? Shut up. Father Opossum. Shut up. The crime fight. I get a fax father. machine. You get a fax machine? I get a fax machine. It's in my butt. My <laughs> dear Father Opossum, the crime fighting vicar. Dressed as a possum with a vicar. No, 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 his name is just Opossum. No, no, I want, I want him to dress as a possum and then dress as a vicar on top of that. Why is, why is it called the Opossum in some places and a possum in other places? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Would he, would he be uh, best friends with um, Cardinal Chaos? Yes. Nobody is an ally of the coon. <laughs> He's part of coon and friends. <laughs> oh, so fuck you, what's so wrong? Anyhow, androids. I've got absolutely crap loads of these. And I don't even know where to begin to explain them. They're just awesome! Is this all of them? No, this is no ones I've got, no. These are just ones I've put in my bag. Oh my, I thought this was all of them, oh my lord. No, 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 no. There's a couple missing. He has a problem again. By a couple, I mean about another eight. Oh, my Lord. Uh, and I have bought a, a base, which hasn't turned up yet, which I'm going to put them all on, and, and they're going to be all there, warring away. 
Um, he's going to need two bases. I can just, I can just two. feel it. There's four of them. And you need to get all four, mate. Yeah, I'm going to get all four, and then you can lock them together. And then there's vehicles come out. And then one of them has a room about the garage. Actually, one does have a garage, and <laughs> it looks like there's a room. <laughs> and I do believe it's the engineering one. And anyway, that's um, where I'm going to live. Yeah, that wife left me for my brother. So, yeah, um, if you like... If you'd like to hear more about Androids, I would actually say go to my YouTube channel and watch the video, because... I think it's going to be a better place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're hard to explain without being able to show you them. Because they're, they are, they're like the mixture point of what, battle beasts and... I don't know... Candy figures. I wouldn't even say that. They're, just, they're robot designs. They've mm. got wheels for feet. Mm -hmm. So they can roll along on plates. And then they've got semi-articulated arms, usually which end in weapon or tools and stuff. Yeah. And they've got some really funky designs. The, the designs are fantastic. Just, oh man, they're so cool. I, and it's just like with some of them, I feel like you could just start pulling arms off and mix, you know, mix them up, and mm -hmm. oh, they're just so wonderfully random. Yeah. There's dudes who are trikes with guns over their backs, and then there's this one here. He's got two arms. His arms are just covered in blades. <laughs> there's a Chris Jericho one as well, apparently. And there's one of them here that um, <laughs> looks like an Ed 209 crossed with a helicopter. Uh, They're just brilliant. I they... call him Mr. Hoppy. Because <laughs> he doesn't fly anywhere, he just hops. And the helicopter blades send him a bit further. <gasps> this one, I bet you this one's like Freakazoid. Because he's got huh? the, the sort of pilot helmet on. He thinks he can fly, but all he does is just walk around like... <laughs> 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 But yeah, um, other than that, I uh, finished Eisenhorn uh, this week. All three books? Yep. Freaking fantastic stuff. Told you. Oh, the yes. The reason why it's one of my favourites. Yes, that was very good. Um, I liked it so much, uh, when I finished uh, reading it, I then ordered the Ravenor books. All them, all them. Gaunt's Ghosts. All them, oh yes, Gaunt's Ghosts. Good life. First three, I think it was, I ordered. All I'm going to say is, ugh, I'm going to have to carry you on, though. Okay. Right at the end of Eisenhower. Ah! <laughs> Don't carry you out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also found that there's an Eisenhorn uh, audiobook. Yes, I think it's Ravenor and Eisenhorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First part's Eisenhorn, second part's mm. Ravenor. Um, listen to that, that was brilliant. Oh, by the way, in case you don't know, it's all 40k stuff I'm talking to mm -hmm. you. Um, I also finished, actually, I also finished my uh, book of essays on mental health. Ow. Hooray! So that's my homework done for the month. Thank God. The, my my training and course continues. <laughs> and I finally watched the last episode of Eternal Law. Still a bit disappointed. See, at least I watched one and went, meh. Well, the, the premise blends itself really well. It's just the fact that they don't seem to want to capitalise on yeah, the awesome well, idea. Let's have this awesome idea and then do fuck all with it. And the, the last episode had some really good bits. Um, the, you know, there was the beginnings of supernatural stuff, but they never capitalise on it. And the doomsday clock starts up and everyone's going to die. Yes! Um, other than that, that's pretty much all I've done. I did watch Scorpion King 2. There was well, a second one. Sorry, sorry I, I, I tell a lie. There I was watched a third one. <laughs> I watched 20 minutes of the Scorpion King 2. Oh, and I watched Justice League Doom. Which is alright. Did you watch the uh, trailer for um, Korra? The Legend Korra. of Korra? No. Avatar The Legend of Korra? No. I haven't seen that. No. It's um, 70 years after um, the Last Airbender series. Mm hmm. Um, it's Cora, the new avatar, is um, learning the elements, hmm. and she comes to the central city of. Um, she's from the Water Tribe, and she comes to the central city of basically the wherever I think Earth Kingdom or something, looking to find herself an airbending teacher. All right. Who is Ang's grandson? Hmm. Cool. Cool. Not Ang's son. Sorry. Um, and yeah, it's steampunk. Mm. 
Well, I've got all of Avatar to watch before I start watching that. So I, I, I thought it was a movie, but it's a it's a new series. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And the, the trailer just it, it's kind of got a bit of the um, a bit of the old Avatar sort of humour and that in it from mm-hmm. the looks of it, but I don't know. It looks like it might be trying too hard. Mm. Well, I did we... like the fact that um, she has a polar bear dog. Nice polar bear dog. Polar dog bear. Awesome. Yeah. On, on ice. On ice. Well, hopefully that'll be cool. Transformers the movie, the musical. <coughs> no, 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 Megatron, Megatron, why can't you see? Why can't we just be friends? I hate musicals. We are Autobots, strong and true. Cybertron's where we sit. My name's Spike of the Sensor. Oh, God, move on quickly. Word like shut. Anyway, um... So, we've got a Twitter set up, you rapscallion scoundrel. Yes. Would you like to tell the listeners <gasps> at home what it is? Do I have to? Yes, yeah. otherwise I'll cattle prod you. Nah, don't tell them what it is, just give them the answers. <laughs> well, it'd be like Jeff- Jeopardy. Yeah. <gasps> that was just an idea. Mm. Next week, we just give them an answer. I, was, I think we should just give give out some answers now. Think of a question in your head right now and just give out the answer. Right, Rob, you first. 74. Alright. Stu. Mm. Alright. And my answer, of course, is just left of K-On. Moving on. Um, yeah, Twitter uh, this week was um, if the old oil house was a wrestling faction in the good old days of uh, WWE. Um, what would Good what would be called, oh, yeah. and what would uh, excuse me? Good old days of WWF. Sorry, good old days of WWF. WWF. Or WWWF. WCW. As it, ri- as it originally was. Um, WCW. So, what would what would our name be? Um, <laughs> um, what would our entrance music be? And who would we be pissing off as a faction? Faddles. Well, with the Twitter set up, I turn to the man known as Stu. I know Stu. Hey, how's it going? He is a boy named Stu. Hey, how's it going? And I say he's a boy named Stu. This music just happened in really, isn't it? Okay, then it's been bloody light on news this week. Bloody, bloody light indeed. No. There's only there's only been sort of one thing dominating the news. Mm-hmm. And we shall well, briefly mention it. Um, if you at any point at all have ever used the Transformers Collectors Club in the last few months, please, please cancel the card you used. Yes. That, that's something that can't be stressed enough. Yeah. Now. That's... They, it's, it's beyond speculation, I'm afraid. They've made an official statement on this. You need to cancel that card. Yeah. Hopefully, if you listen to this, you'll have already heard about it. Yeah. So I'm not going to go on that too much. No, no. no, no. Um, kind of connected to that then is uh, is the shift in votes for the Transformers Hall of Fame. That, that's what I was going to go for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm advising everybody to not vote Swindle because Swindle is going to already make it. I advise to vote Minerva. Why not? I say, vote scrounge. It's not too late. <laughs> no, it is. It really is. It yes. really is. I was going to say vote scrounge anyways. Did you vote scrounge? I haven't voted. Well, conscientious objector. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had time to... Democracy at work, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> one man, one vote. I'm the man. I have the vote. Don't like it? Go to Russia. <laughs> Yeah! Well, I will change my news story then. 
It appears. <laughs> Just like you change your CC password, because apparently their passwords have leaked as well. Yeah, I'm going to make sure that's all right. I can't get them. Actually, actually, it's not too bad because I've changed on the passwords not long back. Mm. Um, I'm probably still doing anyway, just in case. Yeah, I think I might. Um, yes, I'm going to change my story to... Uh, so, it appears the two Toys R Us are starting to get Transformers Prime Toys in. Hooray! Look, at 25% off. Hooray! Look. I've got no money. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little bit of money. <laughs> Uh, they'll get a little bit of money put to one side in the vain hope that some brown toys turn up. I hope. If they've got an RC, then I'll be happy. Not <laughs> yet. She's worth two. I want a cliff jumper. And I want a sound wave. You do. And I want a... Who else has seen wave one? Because I've got a bumble 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 wheel jack. I've already got a wheel jack because I'm a wife. There we go, you don't want anybody else. I just want a sound wave now. Yeah. The glove there you go. Uh, you, want, you want a second glove jumper? I'm not, I'm not sure about the uh, the drift jack. Don't, don't, don't call him drift jack. <sighs> I don't know. It, it I, did, the, did the name drift just get used and stews the one? Because I'm getting pissed off about fucking this. drift jack. Uh, drift jack. You know what? No, he fucking isn't. He's wheel jack in the prime universe. Yes. I don't fucking care. I'm getting pissed off with this shit. Well, put it this way. If you brought Wheeljack into the Prime Universe as G1 Wheeljack, he would be completely pointless because you've got Ratchet. Yeah. But what anyway, I was saying on. was, is, um, is, it, is it just, just me? Just I... to finish this off, I've got to do this. First motherfucker to say, oh, but it's Wheeljack, he should be like that. I'm out of bitch. Yeah, man. You want no technician there. It was a fucking guy who switched sides and he was just a generic soldier. Suck my fucking balls, internet. <laughs> The entire internet. Yes, line up and gobble. Wow. In a row. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, I'll do two at once. You can suck on a nabby. <laughs> Fuck off with this drift jack shit. <laughs> Next motherfucker said drift jack's been on a motherfucking window. Rick James style bitch. Oh, my night is complete. <laughs> All I had in my head there was just Rob turning to you and going, Fuck your couch. <laughs> I'm a maniac. 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 I'm not coming. <laughs> hey, that doesn't sorry. sound like someone, someone would do that. I, I just want you to know that, that's just so stupid. Nobody would do that. Yeah, I remember driving up here on a Murphy's Gap. Well, I do it. You can fall in the wall. Um, no, the. Uh, I was just going to say, the act- I saw a picture of the robot mode. Mm. Is, that, is that sort of like a, different from the. The actual, um, like, quite a bit different from the actual. Um, from the show. show. Nope. According to reports from our wonderful Trekkie on last week's show, he is just about spot on. Yep. Mm. Yeah, he just, he just seemed, well he done. seemed a lot. Um, <laughs> seemed a lot thinner in the picture. I don't know. Maybe because you were looking at him like this. Possibly Because you were half asleep and you've been because <laughs> you were tired. Poor baby. <laughs> it probably was about one o'clock. It's because he's too busy fapping to those pictures of swans. <laughs> it's because he found a baby metal. <laughs> <laughs> a baby metal or baby bells. Ma 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 baby bell. Ba- 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 ma ma ba- 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 He's doing it in time with the river and everything. You're looking at swans. <laughs> and you know what's even better? When he comes, he comes wrapped in red room. Red Ooh. <laughs> Let's give it a, a, a posh one. He's got a condom on. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Rob, what are you doing? Are you at it again? No. Ba, 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 ba. I know it. I can hear you. You don't understand. Oh, mercy me. Mercy me. Why is all this red wax coming from underneath the doll? Don't come in. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. He went to a dance looking for romance. That said he found a swan. You know what's worse? He always gets a little twinge if he sees a bunch of that red netting with the bit. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Mm, mm. I've just got a Barbarum song like in my head now. Barbarum. Barbarum. That song went to a dance looking for romance. God, I hate that film so much. <laughs> no, you, just, you love it, you just don't know how to I express hate that it. film so much. I, I, I almost wanted to like, get radiation poisoning just on the off chance I get superpowers just so I can destroy it. Stu. I'm willing to take that gamble. Stu. The day you watch Surf Ninjas, 
was the worst day of your life. <laughs> For Rob, it was Tuesday. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Yeah, what were we talking about? What, in, what, I, th- I think we were threatening we to kill about. you. Um, no, so yeah, I, was, the, I was just talking about um, um, thingy and... Wheeljack. Yeah, in... Oh, yeah, and then I threatened to burn your face. So out the window. Yes. Then, then we went into... Some black, no, not Black Dynamite. Burr, Rich James. Burr, 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 then we went to that. Um, Baby Bell. I don't know. Oh, do, 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 do you have any, uh, any, uh, any uh, news that you want to bring up? Uh, one thing like I it was would, vomit? One thing I would night. like to say about... Not going into too much detail, but... Um, sort of... Um, nerds on forums. Oh, boys. This is... Starting to piss me off. Yes. Um, well, that's... I've, there's been certain things in the um, in the news and that recently of certain UK um, specialist retailer that's in financial trouble. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just the amount of things of, you know, they're so shit, they're terrible, and I can't wait for the, all those guys to lose their jobs is just fucking pissing me off. It's like... But we can also say we're all in the same boat on this one because me and Stu mm. went through this with Zappi. Yeah. To the point where I, I got seriously quite fucking angry at some people because there was just this callous, unthinking posting that was going on all over the place. Um, I actually saw one on Moonbase 2 and I really lost my rank with him. Because it's like, well, <laughs> yeah, the place goes under. How do I afford my rent? How do I afford food? You know, it sod off. Yeah, it's, There's no bloody need to start attacking people. Attack, no. attack a company as much as you like. It's a company. Yeah. But don't start saying, oh, I can't wait for these people to lose their jobs. That's, non- that's unfair. And to be honest, when they start bitching about something that's, you know, not the company's fault, mm-hmm. you know, then, you know, fair enough, if the co- company's doing something to screw you over, then fair dues. I'll, I'll say, how about it, you know? Mm-hmm. But... When it's something that's not actually the company's fault, because, you know, at the end of the day, they're a specialist, so they don't sell anything other than what they sell. Yeah. You know, and, you know, then you've got other people who sell it, people like um, supermarkets and that, who basically make a loss so they can make their money back on, you know. The the problem here is, Rob, that we agreed a long time ago never to sort of mention... Yeah, it, it's just, it's really getting to me at the yeah, minute, because there's, there's so much shit about it, and it's just like, that's why I'm trying to choose my words very carefully, mm. but it's it's just, you know, that, I mean, it wasn't, I, I read a post in that Stu showed me, and, you know, fair enough, that wasn't, that wasn't that bad, but, you know, it's still people just being really negative and sort of like trying to blame it all on you know, the the greedy company sort of thing. And I mean, there's more to the story there's, than just There's that. a lot more to it, and I just wish some people would just have a bit of common fucking sense. Because there's, there's a, there's a lot of people... You'll be holding your breath for a long time waiting for that, yeah, I'm afraid. There's a lot of people who, you know, are probably shitting a brick right now in those companies, mm-hmm. and they don't need to be going on, you know, whatever sites they go on to relax and reading shit like that. Unfortunately so, yeah. But anyway, that's my rant done with. Okay. Anything else, Joe? Or shall we move on? Uh, Botch up launches are out in the US. Get on! I know that Mr. Paul Lundley's The Sugar Bear. Nice. I've the inflection at the end there. That was nicely done. <laughs> he, go there. he was telling me about his bot shots. And his bot shot launcher. Do you really have to say it like that when you're talking about uh, Mr. Blaze? Because you know... Who, sorry? Mr. Blaze. Who? The Sugar Bear! Oh. Nice. Because you know that will probably end up... Well, or some form of that will probably end up on a Christmas card. What? A bot shot. What's, what's, what's wrong with the word... Bot shot. So I'm worried that for Christmas we're going to get pictures of the sugar ball. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Paul, don't send us pictures of your sugar balls. 
<laughs> oh, is that the Sugar Bears? Backup dancers. The Sugar Puffs. Maybe. She's the honey monster. Well, he is desperate for work because he fucked with the boosh. <laughs> How do you not know about this? I'm not I'm sorry, I'm that one with a ten foot back. I'm just going to put this tumbleweed away. <laughs> what, what, what are you on about? Is that the same he, tumbleweed that was on Twitter? It could well have been. Um, it's a well travelled tumbleweed. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it was. A couple of years ago when Mighty Boosh Season 3 came out, they went mm. big with the crimping thing. And Sugar Puffs used it in an advert. Right. Oh. And there was a bit of a backlash with it against the with the fans, and then when they did like a live like BBC Three extended thing, they just basically did a crimp, and then it would um, Honey Monster fuck you, and then the advert disappeared shortly afterwards. I have no idea at either point what you're on about. Uh, but fair enough. Fair enough. If you know the bush, you know what a crimp is. Well, if there's no more news then, because it's sh- from call really. Mm-hmm. We shall move on. Two, something to really annoy everybody because I bet no one's ready for this. <sighs> Has everyone got an underrated robot? Yes, this guy, we call him Welding Mask Face. And his wife complains about the plumbing and then runs off with his brother who's a plumber and he has to live in a room above the garage at his parents' house. <laughs> there we go. Some building. I'm picking Mr. Construction Androids Dude. You wouldn't let me have Dude in the background of a panel that turned yeah. into a signal. Yeah? You didn't. So, I didn't. You didn't. So I'm not letting you have that. And fuck you then. No, I'll spit off. No. I've got slapper. No. <laughs> That's my choice. You're going to go for welding dude that nobody yeah. can see. With a bush your hand. Alright then, fair It's days. up to you to find a picture and share the love I have for this figure with people around the world. Fair enough. I'll have to put a picture up for him. Rob. Yes. Have you got any ideas? Yes. What is it? <laughs> something wrong. Something wrong. <laughs> Rob, put that tumbleweed down for God's sake. That's not how dead vegetation is meant to be used. <laughs> I'm, I'm just checking something. He he's not on the wiki, honest. <laughs> well. In celebration to the fantastic uh, thing that Stu gave me earlier on, I'm going to go for Spitor. But Transmetal Spitor. Well, you kind of have to because normal Spitor is a bit boring. Yes. He, he, he's alright, but he's nowhere near as good as this. This green and blue and... Oh, he's beautiful. Green and blue and purple and... Chromed. Chromed and my eyes hurt just looking at it. Oh, it's giving me a headache. A delicious, delicious I'm headache. Damage. So yeah, he's almost G2. I could sniff him all day. <laughs> oh, I smell that neon. So yeah, that's look at his little pink eyes glowing. I don't think him. it's neon. Well, it, it's just bright and beautiful. Anyway. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm going for Transmetal Spitor, because he spits. Rob, come on. Um, I'm, I'm going for um, Electro. Electro? Electro is an Autobot laser rod from Generation 2 portion of the Generation 1 continuity family. Apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, so we just randomly found him on uh, DF Wiki. Uh, apparently, turbocharged and living large. That's why I want to pick him, because he's turbocharged and living large. Fair um, enough. Electro defends the streets. That is, when he's not racing through them at excessive speeds that leave behind the telltale tread marks of a vehicle equipped with posi traction. This feature, combined with the dual racing cams and nitro injected fuel supply, gives this laser rod the confidence he needs to never back out of a race. Electro doesn't back down from a fight either, using an armor slashing lightsaber to battle his Decepticon foes. Hang on, you say he had a lightsaber? Yep. Just Luke's gonna save the shit out of us now. Not just masters, turbo masters. The, the only, only masters, masters that, that turbo. T- turbo. Turbo. He 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 looks kind of cool. Does he look like a nineteen forties car of some description? He's, he's, I believe he is a fine recipient of gold plastic syndrome. Yes. Yep. That. Yeah. I know it is. Coolio's. 
Right, well, in that case, we're going to take ourselves a bit of a break. Arms, legs, what do you shanty? Um, what do you fancy? I would like... The lobster, please. Yes, lobster, that sounds good. Marvellous. Garçon? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have to tell you about the fabulous success of the Watch and Roll franchise. All I need to do is both the car and the driver. Guaranteed to keep you in control. Mr. with Watch and Roll. Transformers Generation presents Car Wash of Doom. Out now from IDW Comics. All that rage, all that anger, has direction now. To sail If I die, no one can admit coding Forever offered a new coding habits. I cracked central prime. Found the matrix already come out. It's fate. Rests in Transformers, the war within. Out now. New Grimlock, badass. Why, hello there. I didn't see you come in. I was just telling my friends here about shh, we're watching a movie. And shh, we're watching a DVD commentary. And shh, we're shooting the shout. So close, so very close. I thought I'd take it upon myself to give you a little bit of a taster of the shh brand. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it. It's serious business with serious movie chat. You can find it at thenerdsphere.network.blogspot.com and at thenerdsphere.network.weebly.com. Retro gaming. It's a way of life for the puny meat people who scurry around this fallen rock. So, so why don't their leave alt monkeys go listen to Oily's old arcade at oldoilhouse.weebly.com? Comment at the nerdsphere.madmooseforum.com. Um, it's a good way to ignore the brain. Garçon means boy. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes. But you know something else? I know something. I like you. I don't want to touch face. Ah! <laughs> well, don't like you instantly <laughs> managed to do anything creepier than I was going to do. Why do you hear that to him when he's dressed up as a Japanese schoolgirl? <laughs> because he's dressed up like a Japanese schoolgirl. Tommy Rogato, Mr. Roboto. That's just wrong. Ah! I love bedding metal, bedding metal knights. You cannot show me, I robot. Ah, you're a robot. Hmm. He's that robot. No, 
Ah, a robot! Ah. Um, so... <laughs> I've got a transplant coming out. I don't know what I'm doing for this one. This one's kind of got away from me. You want me to present the rest of the show? I can present it. I'll turn it to Edward for a long in Terminator 2. I, I better <laughs> present the rest of the show because my wife left me and I live in a room above the garage. No, Arnold, you can't kill them. You <laughs> promise it's not to kill them. Just read out the thing, Dave. It's, 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 it's a light to read it. I'll do it. Is it the pictures here? Yes, it is. The pictures. Um, it's uh, is it's that a plumber. No, no, it's my brother. He's a plumber. Those are the things he uses to unblock the pipes. Unfortunately, <laughs> you used to unblock my wish pipes too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yes, yeah, so it's a Transplant Community Watch, yes. uh, and this is from Domino Mist. Yep, on the TFW boards. Ah, oh, thank you, uh, He's done a snare custom. Mmm. Snare, who is uh, one of the predators, but not an invisible one, some candy <laughs> kind of way, as in one of the Decepticon dudes, uh, and he's made it out of space case slash terror dive, and it looks freaking awesome. Ooh, it really does, doesn't it? really nice. It's, a, it's a nice simple is one. It's from what? Revenge of the Fallen Blaze Master. It's, think, it's a head swap, and he's moved it, he's changed it so the wings don't attach to the legs anymore and just stick to the backpack. Yep. And that's all he's done. Yeah. And obviously he's painted it and done a really mm. good job on it. Yeah, it doesn't it look factory fresh? Uh -huh. It really does. Yo, I saw it. Yo, yo, Hasbro, Hasbro, take note. Yeah, one of those, please. Now, Hasbro doesn't even have to put the wings on the back. I don't mind. I'd love the wings on the back. I think I'd be happy with that colour scheme and a new head. Yep, me too. That, that would be right up my alleyway. <laughs> it's up his alleyway. Oh, I think his pipes were up my way, yeah! I'm just I want to sleep! My brother has been done! I'm, I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I'm gonna be stuck thinking I'm this dude. <laughs> just yeah. rolling around with a little bus <laughs> over an arm. Why, why have I got a cat in the house? Ah, oh, <laughs> Mom said I couldn't get a cat in the house, no! So, yeah, I would say go to TFW and have a look for Dominist. <gasps> Do, Domino Mist. Domino. Domino Mist. Domino Mist. Oh, thank you. That's how I read it anyway. Do, I apologise if it's wrong. Domino oh, Mist like Snare Custom, because it is really nice work. No, and you know what else you need to look for as well? Mm. Just because I showed you today, you need to go on there and search out the G2 coloured straps that somebody did. Yeah. Based on the Derek J. White bit of artwork. All I'm going to say is, also a bit of leopard beauty. print underwear on it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. So with that so, being said... Just on a note, Paul, you, Mr. Blaze, you don't want to look at that, you'll cry. <laughs> No, Paul, you really do want to go look yeah, at that. Actually, you do. <laughs> so, Mr. Rob. Yeah. This is the voice of the Mr. Rob's. This is the voice of the Mr. Rob's. We no, know you can hear us with me. We know you can hear us, Earthman. In three hours, we're going to blow up your planet. <laughs> Unless you bring the words that the gonads of Captain Scarlet. <laughs> we require them for our bash and wars. I don't know what voice I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm beginning to sound like a boosh. I'm going to blow up Pluto. <laughs> it spoils my planet of the moon. Your planet of the moon? Dark of the moon. The dark of the moon. Oh. I saw that movie. It was funny and it had a woman's booty in it and maybe some robots. Dark of the moon. Dark of the moon. It didn't have a woman's booty in it. It, it had, a had, had a bag of hangers. It had a bag of hangers with a booty <laughs> on it. Bag of hangers, there was a booty on that? In Glorious my, 3D! My god, that could be the next from the Tar Pit song. <laughs> Ooh, booty! In 3D! <laughs> booty in 3D! Come and see! Come and see! Booty in 3D! Come and see! It has to be a collaboration with Power Metal singer Starscream. Wow! In 3D!
Transmitted. Please, 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 Does please, it. please read the Twitter challenge yeah. before he's stuck on this forever. I would like to go to bed at some point today. From the Twarpoots. Stop it. Cosmetic and transmitting disease. <laughs> Space. Stop it. Space. <laughs> <laughs> I have found your weakness. You've moved slightly out of your range. Because I'm too lazy to stretch further. <laughs> Please read this for the challenge. Go. I want to go to sleep. <coughs> okay. For those oh. of you with... Uh... <coughs> choke, bitch, choke. <laughs> choke, 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 choke. For those of you who have, uh, you know, no memory whatsoever... Uh, the Twitter challenge was, uh, if we were a wrestling faction, what would we be called? Uh, what would our entrance music be? And who would we be pissing off? So, um, Mr. Cassius335 says, B. What? He's actually uh, censoring himself. He said, fuck. Okay. Um, Mr. TimeyTYME says, PCC NWO for life. For life! It's a bit um, of an obvious one. He, mm. says, he also says, for music, My Little Pony. Fuck off. Um, Jetfire 2009. Do you think, do you think PCC what... stands for Ponies Cannibalised Corpse? Yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to say this. Can you fucking suggest ponies one more time? I'm going to interrupt you and in, in, fucking intercept his gal guy guy he's waiting on and then never make it show up. That's really not what I thought you were going to say. And just send him a bit of it every couple of weeks. <laughs> you just going to say you're going to intercept him. Yeah? <laughs> you just like, you, you, you know, he's on his way to work one morning you just step out of an alleyway grab him firmly yet gently by the shoulders and disappear into the alleyway. And that's the last anyone ever <laughs> saw of him. And then... And then we all go around to his house and take all his toys. And then get a couple of half thousand motherfuckers to work them up or a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. No, 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 no. A pair of hamsters and some gelatin. Oh, God. <laughs> What's next, Uncle no, Rob? No, no. Timey, timey, some mobsters and a squirrel. Eek, eek, eek. I'm going to get you nuts. Go. Um... <laughs> uh, Jetfire2009 says, The Oily Bastards... Hey. You would wrestle Radio Free Cybertron and your music would be Kenny Loggins' Danger Zone, anyone? Yes! <laughs> I'm just saying this. Kill me! I'll need you in the ring of the fire and the flames and the elephants come down from the sky! <laughs> Brian! <laughs> kill me! There is no amount of money you can throw me to stop this problem. Brian, kill me. <laughs> and as he starts ranting like that, it's just, this is where me and Adam just slowly <laughs> back away. And, and now I have this out. horrid image of a bot on like two years later. And I'm just running around the place decked out as the Ultimate Warrior, <laughs> determined to find Kilby, who I have somehow managed to knock out and dress up like Hulk Hogan. And he just sort of comes in from the ceiling. And I just... Dun, 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 dun. And I'm just there rattling the waiting rope with my yellow wrist Because battle. obviously at this point, Kilby has come back for revenge in his new guise of Vince Vader. No, as Hollywood... Your dun, 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 fire! He's, he's, he's come back with... Dun, 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 no, 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 no. He's come back as the RFC NWO. And he's Hollywood Brian Kilby. <laughs> So I've got to take him out as the one stew nation. <laughs> <laughs> and then instead of like kidnapping the kidnapping the disciple, I kidnap JD. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just had the idea of you putting a bag over JD and legging it with him. He's mine. He's mine. He's all mine. <laughs> Cackling like a madman all the way. <laughs> and then stopping going, Has anybody got change for bus fare? Anybody? <laughs> no? Screw you all then. <laughs> anybody got a dam? Somebody needs to go back and get a shitload of dams. <laughs> yeah, that could be the Speaking... name of our wrestling group. A shitload of dimes. Shitload of dimes. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Captain Stubby. When did we speak of Captain Stubby? That's a really bad segue, dude. 
Well, I had to get in there somewhere. The only segue worse than that is the one you built out of wood and basket wheels. That worked. It didn't, it fell over. Precisely. Oh, but it was an amazing submarine. <laughs> we all sank. live in a wooden submarine. It killed, it killed the uh, test pilot, which is what I was after. Oh. And also killed the dinosaurs. Which the Ice Age! <laughs> which, <laughs> that's it for Frussel. Which, by the way, <laughs> dinosaur was made of DNA. But it didn't kill Frussel, he's no. the last one. No. Frussel came back and we found themselves with the last dinosaur. Because Thrussell's made of DNA, and dinosaurs are made of DNA. So, what did Guy D say, please? He said, um, the Innsmouth crew. What? <laughs> what? Um, nice. Opposition, the Dun- Dunwich Horrors. <laughs> what? Um, theme music, Deep Ones Rising. Okay. So, basically, we're going to be fishmen fighting other fishmen. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with Charles Lovecraftian knowledge there. Um, good man. Good man. Unky Time, he's uh, come back with the PCC NWO for life would be opposed to anything that cannot be troop built. <laughs> and he's hashtagged it with Drift. <laughs> but that's only him that's against Drift. We love him. As I say, I did. Mom and Mixie, I certainly enjoy Drift. I want a Medi Bay buzzing with positive energy. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> um, Don't say things like that to me when I've got a scalp in my hand. Jetfire. Love New Drift. Jetfire 2009. Uh, Redcoats. You would fight the Yanks with music by a. D- <laughs> <laughs> I'm through <clears throat> trying to say something, but I'm not sure what it is. Um. Cassis 335 says, Name, Gruff Ages, with Robber's manager. <laughs> Opposed by Rainbow Dash and Applejack. <laughs> Music, Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> yeah, son. Yeah, you see this? You see this? Applejack, toasted. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, on. Well, the idea was being a tag team and killing the ponies. No one told the RSPCA said that. <laughs> I was about to say. Um, Jeff 2009 says Team Third Party versus <laughs> GLOC, Gorgeous Ladies of Cybertron, with dubstep intro music. You go to cock. All I don't know about dubstep is it's got some warp dub. All I don't know about what dubstep is, if you you know the little springs that you get that are on, just behind doors, mm. and you just pull it. Mm-hmm. That's the origins of dubstep. <coughs> YouTube told me so. I just remembered something. Mm-hmm. Something I was going to put in my news. Mm-hmm. Borderlands 2 trailer. Mm-hmm. Guess what? I ain't going to be around for recording in, like for about a month and a half or in September. <laughs> I'm saying that right now. <laughs> it, it just sent his inspiration for his uh, his tweets. All right. It's a picture of a rather large beer. That ain't beer. It's fruit juice. <laughs> He's, he's drinking is, fruit is, juice. Is, is there a picture of Jet Fighter 2009 himself? No. no. Damn, damn it, the mystery continues. <laughs> is he really the bastard offspring of Rob and Jetfire? Did Rob have sex with a mythical. Not mythical. <laughs> fictional! That's a one. <laughs> a fictional robot. No, you know why that titanium one was so hard for him to find? Mm. Because he actually finds one every week, but he fucks it to death. I love you, Jetfire! It's a gling, 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 gling. It's a toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because it's full of semen doesn't mean it's alive. <laughs> yeah, twisted. It's certainly moving like it's alive. Um, Cassius 335. <laughs> Hang on, he says we're twisted. Um, it's his name, Twitter, opposed by Sugar Bear and the, f- the Fail Whale. The what? The Fail Whale. Um, and there's a YouTube link for our music. I'm worried. So am I. Yet, yet looking forward to it. Okay. From, it's from Power Rangers video. No. Whoa, what's that? I can't see from back here. I've, I've carved my eyes out. Well, what you basically, all of a sudden, Tommy's crotch just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Power Rangers, he looked down in his big white pants. I'm 
I'm vetoing um, For some reason, coach. all I've got in my head now is just the... He's wearing the wire. <laughs> Yeah, to, to okay. the left. Okay. Left laser. Right, right, right laser. That could be yes. a finishing maneuver. Hey, there we go. We've got a finishing. And, we'll... the, and then our manager can suddenly just jump on the ropes and yell, "Tsunami blaster!" Final roll. Can our manager be Paul? Tsunami blaster. I, I desperately want to see Paul Bearer. Oh, tsunami blaster! Tsunami blaster! Rest in peace, Optimus Prime. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, I think I think Tricky's gone off the deep end. Um, yeah, this is all news, mate. Um, well, first of all, it was you know it, it was listening to the random Phantom last week and hearing Nicole's awesome chicken sound. <laughs> it was well. You oh, know, that, Nicole deserves a present for that. That, one, that that's that you know got him listening to baby small, metal. small Japanese girls. Baby, baby metal. Um, but. Now, this question seems to have really put him over the edge. Okay, go. Tricky says, obviously you would be a diva trio, glamorous Grufflock, sexy Stu, and raunchy Rob, known as the hot Rod am I. Wouldn't you be stunning Stu? Yeah. Stunning Stu Stu Austin. Yeah. (laughs) Stunning Stu Austin, also known as the ringmaster. (laughs) Because that would kind of work, because I would have long blonde hair, and then at some point I'd just go, nah, fuck it, and shave it all off. Hmm? And that I'll have a better career than you've got combined. So fuck you. <clears throat> Is my entire response to that? Um, I I could be on Combat Zone Wrestling as a commentator. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Cassius three three five says. Uh, lastly, all Oily's old boys opposed by Sonic and Knuckles. What? Why? Why am I fighting Sonic and Knuckles? Because <laughs> Knuckles don't like to chuckle. No. Name's Knuckles. Don't like to chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. I'm hard as nails. And this is our entry music. Okay. Better than the last one. <laughs> it even sounds like wrestling entrance music. Yeah. <laughs> That's more wrestling. I this like is, that. This is the, when we're going down the ramp of <laughs> explosions. No, no. I think our music should be Chin- Chinatown Hustler. <laughs> Chinatown Hustler. That King Canadian. <laughs> that King Canadian. Um. Canadian. Can 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 you share? What? He says. Uh, well, that's enough for me. Hope the show isn't plagued by gremlins this week. Bye, guys. So I've got my mouth out. And we've got, we got a little robo-dude. We've got the uh, little robo-dude. We've got to fix the pipes. Yeah, i got to weld a pipe and i got to cut the pipe. <laughs> Tricky cut, again. Cut, weld, weld. Says, uh, it's all I do all day. Wife won't shut up. Slip with my brother. But I love you. You would be opposed to Radio Free Cybertron, Brian the Beast Kill B. <laughs> <laughs> the Executioner. <laughs> At Hackshaw <laughs> JD Church. Mmm. Oh, the, the, the beast needs to be taken down. We need to neuter the beast. <laughs> and uh, oh, apparently. Oh, that's done <laughs> and apparently, our entrance music would be Grufflock's wheeljack impression. Just oh, repeated God. over and over again. We do a win, Brian. Do a win. But it would only work if there was an alarm sound before it. <laughs> so, wee, 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 wee. Bram. <laughs> Fucked up again. <sighs> I'm no win, Bram. <laughs> no, no, this, this, it's just silent. We just walk out. Well, Tricky yeah. had me on that one up until that point. Everything else was going fine. But you've been having this feud. with. <laughs> you can't <laughs> even say the it. The beast kill me. <laughs> Hacksaw GD Church. You've been living this view of the Hacksaw GD Church for quite some time now. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're rotten, raw, vicious. He's, uh, he's been fed away with the executioner for some time. I want him new to the beast. So I'm the Survivor Series. 
I won't put all our towels on the line. You, me, him, and the true love of my life. Mr. Elizabeth. <laughs> Something like that actually is behind your back. I think I think it's a good thing that that was our last uh, Twitter. Uh, 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 somebody been removing the oxygen out of this room. <laughs> no, adding oxygen. Between the two. We have had a challenge for the big I think, considering we were just gone, I think it would be more of a. Leave a glit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like default setting. <laughs> I would gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> this is the first. This is my true love. Totally misses all the for you. Thank you for a finisher. Can you give me my spinach? <laughs> oh my god, Popeye's won! <laughs> How is Arms actually doing that? It's unfortunately, he keeps failing the wellness policy. <laughs> <laughs> Trace amounts of spinach in his bloodstream. Popeye, there's no uh, spinach in your bloodstream to kill a horse. <laughs> Did you see any of uh, DNA in the recent weeks? With, no, um, no, no. Is Eric Young uh, believing that he's in a relationship with uh, ODB? No. Oh, oh, he has a mixed tag match. Oh, and ODB, uh, that's not threw, a mixed tag match. He's a man. <laughs> she threw her opponent into the uh, corner and he did a broke up. Oh. Oh. So Eric Young just kind of running, got in the corner and just like went... <laughs> Dear me. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love Eric Young. He is fantastic. I don't. So is that all the Twitters? You that is saying? all the Twitters. Thank God. So oh. our challenge has been set out to Brian the Beast kill me, yes. Hacksaw JD Church, and the Executioner. <laughs> Executioner. <laughs> genius <laughs> names. I don't know. I'm surprised that uh, there wasn't fire. Oh, oh. Not nice. Well then. This has been a very short show this week. Doesn't feel like it. I'm tired. I'm angry. <laughs> I've got to get ready to face the chair that Brian the Beast killed me. That's my series. Oops, we were all going up to Russia. We're going to run around. <laughs> Kill me! We're going to run around. We'll survive and play some music. Dun, 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 dun. This is TV's Vince DiCola. That's it, I need me a Vince DiCola training montage, which ends with the spinning camera shot of a stun on the mountaintop going, Kill me! <laughs> and then just me occasionally in the background going, Trigo! <laughs> Rob's halfway up the other mountain. <laughs> Swans, I'm lost! I have a fucking map and a car. Why am I climbing a fucking mountain? What does that sign say? I'm in Germany. What? <laughs> this isn't Russian. What's that? What All right. Thank you for your answer. See you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. Um. So before we close this down, then, unless anyone else has got anything else to say. Oh God, oh, actually, no, we haven't given answers. Rob, hmm? what, what's your answer to it? Give, give um, me your answer. I, I think we would be um, three broken bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Finisher would be to fall on our opponent. <laughs> Possibly swearing under our breath. Possibly. And then standing up doing that. <sighs> no, no. Fin <laughs> Finisher would be um, for me and you to get on the top rope because neither one of us could get up properly ourselves. Right, yes. And then for Skew to just grab us both and just whack us down onto the uh, bone. <laughs> we were broken anyway so we might as well I, use that to our advantage. Skew's going to do what? going to grab her and throw us off the top rope. No, no, no. Use the exact wording you used. I don't know what I just used. You said whack us down. <laughs> now, if you said whack, I wouldn't mind it so much. But you said it whack. Are you, are you whacking off in there? <laughs> What's are you, you saying? Whacking in my camper. <laughs> you whacking. <laughs> so, 
Those kids who have been whacking in my camper. <laughs> Say whipped. No. Say oh, God. <laughs> End it. End All it right. already, for the love right. of God. Before we close down, then, there are a few things I want to say. Um, first up, did you get your free gift both last week and this week? If you haven't, you'll have to go to either the forums at Full Metal Hero or the forums at the Dirtsphere Network because each time there's a new lock-in episode, there'll be a free gift sellotape to the front of it, like this was a copy of the Beano. And only occasionally will it be a photograph of my ass. <coughs> occasionally, no. Occasionally, it will be Adam's. <laughs> the photo <laughs> of our asses from now on. But we're saving Rob's for the big no, anniversary. Last, last week's... Last oh, week's, Buddha. Last week's free gift, in case you haven't noticed, was the entirety of the Galaxy Rangers OST. What will this week's be? <gasps> I know. Steroids. Can you get... Yes, anabolic steroids. <laughs> also known as Pokemon candy. Viagra. You get a free Pokemons. You get free Pokemons. <laughs> you get free Pokemons. It's like Pokemon, but it's uh, it's not. It's a little licensing issue, so it's Pokemon. Do Pokemon actually die? If they do, do they then just instantly become ghastly? Yes. All right. I just wanted to know that. Ghastly. They have all the clones. You did stem cell research. And then you know, ghastly turns into Honda. I remember. I have no idea. I remember my ghost Pokemon. I fucking love the ghost Pokemon. I I like the designs of Pokemon. I've never actually finished it. One of them was like a big spiky ball with hands that would go. Yep. I like that. Greatest Pokemon ever was Bulbasaur. Shut your trap. Number sixty-nine, Bell Sprout. That's the only one I know the number of. Nah. Nah. Bulbasaur. Darkly. I also like Cyber. Well, Cyber was quite cool. Or, um, Squirtle, because he wears sunglasses. Squirtle, <laughs> Squirtle, Squirtle. One Squirtle wore sunglasses. Precisely, and he was awesome. He was the baddest, Come baddest on, this. I'm tired. Squirtle. Right, yeah, so I want to burn the, Rob's face. The other thing I'm going to say is, from this point going forward, we have decided that we're going to um, take this show and we're going to make it fortnightly. For two reasons. One... Um, time has become a bit of a a thing of late for us to get together and sort everything out as been apparent by the last couple of shows. Also, we've decided if we make this fortnightly, we've got more time to get the other stuff done as well. So you'd expect to see round tables start to come back up and um, quick change the <coughs> channels and things like that. So we're basically just trying to um, get more content out there. And hopefully it'll all work out and we won't crash and burn and die and and in three weeks' time, just go, oh, let's just make it weekly. You can't be bugging trying to make anything else work. You uh, probably won't. So, yeah. Um, excuse me. So, we will see you in two weeks. Bye-bye. With another lock-in. God Bye-bye. knows what you'll get next week. I think it's just going to be 13 minutes of Rob sitting, screaming. Quite possibly. <sighs> so, what did you go all the way again? Indeed, we are. <laughs> Night, everybody. <clears throat> Night. Night. You have been listening to the Old Oil House. Come visit us at www.oldoilhouse.co.uk. Join the forums at the nerdsphere.madmooseforum.com. Email us at oldoilhouse.gmail.com, rate us on iTunes, and give feedback on the forums. in the darkness, covered and blinded by a blanket of little lives, false security has lulled the madness of this world into a slumber. Wake up, an eye is upon you, staring straight down and keenly through, seeing all that you are and everything that you can never be. Yes, an eye is upon you, an eye ready to blink. So face forward, with arms wide open and mind reeling, your future has arrived. Are you ready to go? What is it, Relay? What's going on here? You got the system for total control. Now is there any body out there? Now watch yourself for you, cause we can't go. What is it really that is in your head? What is the life that you had just died? I'm gonna be the one to take it over Now this is what it's like when worlds collide
sides, so I'll be your guide. And when 